So, are you a collaborator? Do you work with the people that work in your area? Are you more worried about com uh, competition or competing with other people? Or do you really want to work together to make your area better? Hi, my name is Thomas Heath, and this is Disc Jockey News and Deets Beats and Dancing Feet. So, is it better to collaborate or is healthy competition better? I'll talk about my opinion right after this. Welcome back. So, is it better to be a collaborator than it is to be a competitor? Is collaboration better than healthy competition? My opinion is that you can have both. You should be a collaborator. You should help people that are asking you questions. You should be willing to share and, and help people learn from your mistakes before they make them on their own. I just came back from the biggest collaboration event in the wedding professionals industry, Wedding MBA. If you haven't been to Wedding MBA, get your tickets now because you will learn so much from such a diverse group of vendors. There's photographers, videographers, wedding planners, officiants, caterers, venues, everything that a person needs to run a wedding, that a couple would need to hire for their wedding, is there. And the coolest thing about Wedding MBA is that they love to share their information. People give you their secrets to success. It's amazing that people are willing to just hand over the keys and say, this is what I did. Don't or do this or don't do this. I was actually uh, honored to be able to give a presentation about being a co-creator, which is what we do here at A Plus Event Entertainment, working with our couples, not for them. But you can't, if you want to be, a, if you truly want to be a collaborator, you can't just say that you're going to be. You have to actually be it. You have to actually do it. You have to actually help people when they ask for help. And you can't think of them as competition at that point. I just had a great meeting today with a group of event professionals. We're creating a brand new wedding expo in a venue that hasn't had one before. There are two DJs on the board, me and Chris. Chris and I never really talked before this. I've ne we'd never uh, interacted before. But since this has happened, we are starting to collaborate. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be joining us at Midwest DJs Live this year, coming up in April. So I'd like to give you a little tidbit or a little story about how collaboration, just one thing, has helped to grow my business exponentially. I'll be right back. So when you collaborate, when you choose to collaborate with somebody, make sure that those people or that they are people that 
uh, have the same uh, kind of values that you do and as far as uh, running your business and where your brand should be going. We actually collaborated with a group and we called it the Best Wedding Expo Ever group. And what we did was we pooled all of our booths together and we created a lounge inside of this wedding expo. And it was six booths long and we actually put up pipe and drape and we built walls and made it into this amazing space with high tops. We had uh, DJ for part of it. We had live music for part of it. We had uplighting. We had projections. We had a bar. We had food. We had cake. We had a photo booth. It was fantastic. And it was all because we were collaborating with other vendors. Now, that particular show was one of our best shows that we've ever had. And I know that it was because we were selling each other's services. I've talked about this before at different, at different uh, shows where being a team is the best way to sell each other's services because you're talking about the, the, the flowers and the florist is talking about what you do. And it's a built-in referral. It's, it's fantastic. So that was a quick one. Another thing that I've done was worked with DJs online in a, in a couple of different groups, collaborating and sharing experiences. Randy Bartlett's 1% Solution Group is great for this. If you don't have those videos, make sure you get them. And there's another one that's uh, being a ma better master of ceremonies that Jim Collins hosts. And if you ever want to up your game in being a public speaker, we do have a DJ and MC Toastmasters group as well. Reach out to Jared Wade or Rich Lang. So, how about some action steps? I'll be right back. DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Okay, action step number one. Find a group of professionals in your area that you like to work with. Make sure, that's action step number one, make sure that you find people that kind of believe the same stuff you do in as much as how professional you want to be and how you want to be seen. Action step number two. Set up a time where you can have a meeting or a collaboration session and talk about the things that you are struggling with so, that, so you can talk about the things that they're struggling with. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Listen more than you talk. Action step number three. Enjoy the process. Because sometimes it is different and difficult to let go of that competitive nature because we're all business owners and we all are proud of what we create and how we can be successful in business. That's my show. Thanks everybody for watching. I will see you. I'm getting back into the light here. I will see you on Tuesday.